for many, many years. Every time when I walk by the rack of maxi dresses in the mall, it's like seeing the sign, tall people only. I would turn around because I am only 5'2". I couldn't imagine how that's gonna work. Until one day I put a maxi dress on myself and look myself in the mirror, I was like, That is a moment when I realized maxi dresses can be super flattering on someone who is petite because it creates the long, unbroken vertical line. The best way to flatter someone who's short like us. You do need to be very selective. I would say be as picky as when you are looking for Mr. Right. And this is how you find the best maxi dresses for short women. Links are down below for everything I'm wearing today. First things first, the question I get asked a lot, Chi, how long should that maxi dress be? I am 5'2", the maxi dresses I wear the most goes between 41 inches to 45 inches. This one is 42 inches. This is about two inches above my ankle. And I have noticed this is the most functional length if you wear flat sandals a lot like me. I'm really a heels girl, but having a four and a half year old that's constantly running around, this is the length I can wear a maxi in flat shoes and still catch up with my son. And this one is 45 inches. This is as long as I would go without involving heels. When I'm standing barefoot, the dress is brushing off of the top of my foot. So you can still wear black sandals with this dress. And of course, you can also wear heels. Super long maxi dresses are very on trend. And I see in New York City, a lot of women wearing it, including petites. I've always been puzzled how they can make it work. That's not the length I would go for because one, I'm worried about tripping over my dress and two, I think the dress is gonna get real dirty. Wrap maxi dresses, super flattering. I noticed that because I saw someone wearing that in the subway of Manhattan. I was blown away. I was like, I gotta get that wrap dress. You all know how much I love wrap dresses and have an entire collection of wrap dresses in different lengths. They are universally flattering and they make you look more feminine regardless if you have curves or not. If you do actually have curves, if you are hourglass shape, apple shape, if you have a big bust, wrap dresses are super flattering, especially on you because they really hugs your body the right way. They accentuate your best assets and they're not clinging to your bottoms. When the wrap dress comes in a maxi length, you get the best of two worlds. Not only they flatter your curves, but also they elongate your frame and make you look longer, taller, and leaner. If you never tried, try it today. You will be surprised how flattering they are. You cannot go wrong with it. High-low dresses are very much on trend and that's a great news on someone who's short like us. I got this dress from Express. The front is much shorter than the back. That's really flattering because I have the benefit of two worlds. The front of the dress is showing off my legs and the back of the dress, because it's long, it's a maxi in the back and this is making it more appropriate for dressed up occasions such as wedding guest dresses. Besides, I think this is a super fun way to wear a maxi dress. If you're petite, look for maxi dresses with slits or with a slit. The reason is maxi dresses are so long, they have so many fabrics covering our body. Sometimes it can look overwhelming for someone who's short like us. However, if the dress has any slit at all, the eye is gonna get a peek into your legs when you're walking or standing. And that is extremely flattering. It's gonna change the perception of the eye. So that's why any maxi dress with one slit or slits on both sides, they are gonna be super flattering on someone who has short legs or someone who is petite. 
This works with not just the maxi dresses, they also work well with midi dresses, which is the most challenging lens for petite women like us. I have an entire video on what are the best midi dresses if you have shorter legs, so make sure you watch this video as well. If you're petite, the best maxi dresses are those that define your waist. The reason is having a waist definition gives the eye a focal point and that can counterbalance the long length of the dress. If the dress doesn't define your waist, it goes straight up and down. The volume plus the length of the dress can easily overwhelm someone who is short. And that is especially more obvious if you have curves. A lot of times, I understand you're looking for something that's comfortable that gives you plenty of space. However, if the dress doesn't define your waist, it can add so much volume to your body and they can totally make you look heavier than you actually are. Defined waist doesn't mean your dress has to be tight. In fact, you don't want it to be tight, especially in the summer. A-line is the universally flattering silhouette and it works well no matter how long your dress is. Because the A-line is faded at the top and it flares out under your waist. This is the most accommodating shape regardless of your body type. It works well on everybody, especially if you happen to have a pear-shaped body. Hips are wider, your thighs are prominent, you don't want anything too tight on your bottom half. The A-line shape can accommodate your body and it balances out your shape. If you're petite, look for diagonal lines in your maxi dresses. This is something I discovered recently. I got this dress from Express and instead of the horizontal hemline, this has a diagonal line. This is very slimming and besides, it also draws the eye up and down and makes you look taller and leaner. Besides, this dress also got a side slit. Like I said, super flattering and leg elongating. This is a wonderful choice if you have an event coming up, wedding guest, or any occasion you want it to look really dressed up. The long line, perfect for someone who is short. This is not to be confused with bias cut dresses. The bias cut dresses, the entire dress is cut on an angle. This is not the bias cut. I'm only referring to the diagonal line of the hem. On the other hand, I have found bias cut dresses one of the hardest things to wear because they're super unforgiving. If you have any tummy or if you have wider hips, prominent thighs, a bias cut dress is only gonna make that more obvious. Captain dresses are very popular in the summer, especially if you're going to a resort. I have to say this is one of the harder dresses for petite women to pull off because most of them has no shape. It goes straight up and down. They're big, white, and long. So sometimes it comes across you are just wearing a gigantic scarf. However, I do understand that you like the comfortable feel and the resort feel. If this is a dress you really love, I would go with something that has elastic waistband. A little waist definition, it's much better than no waist definition at all. Or you could add a belt to the captain dress, like this. This is not a captain dress, but it's also a resort dress. This is from my store, petitedressing.com. It doesn't come with a belt, but it has an elastic waist. I noticed if I wear it with a belt, it immediately change my proportion. And this looks much more flattering on someone who is short. Shoes are so important to petite women, no matter what we're wearing. This is especially important because we're wearing maxi dresses, which have so much fabrics going on. If your maxi dress is like this one, has a lot of volume, then heels is probably one of the best options. Even though I can get by with flats, with this dress, a lot of times I do wear heels because it balances out the volume in the dress. If your dress is dressy, like this one, this is a satin dress, they look better when you wear heels, especially strappy sandals, or you can also wear pumps. 
Another great option, wedges. These look really well with maxi dresses, especially if you like really long maxi dresses. And if your dress is long enough to cover part of your wedges, that's gonna really elongate your frame and maximize the leg elongating effect of your maxi dress. The reason maxi dresses can be so flattering on petite women is because it elongates our frame. But there's eight other ways that you can look taller and leaner. Watch this video, the nine secret styling tips that every short woman must know.